Hey folks, it's me, Manic Mark, down here in the bunker system uh, with a couple art videos. Today, redo, still working on the redos, getting down to the, how many more? Like about four more after these two. Uh, man, I need to go outside and exercise a little bit, which I think I'll do. The dogs are barking, I don't know why. The first redo is, and yeah, here's the thing about redoing stuff. That here's something I really liked. In fact, I liked it enough to make a poster and put it on Cafe Press. But since I've been redoing stuff, I, I looked at it and I didn't. I, 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 I understood. I understand why I like. Anyway, what I redid it and it's much better. It's more. There's more energy. You know, you got. You, you can't be afraid to redo stuff. That's the thing. We invest energy. Just talking to Steve Chandler about this. As he dramatizes his uh, moving forward in life by destroying old artwork that he doesn't like anymore. But when you do it, you like it. And you can't see past what you've done. You invested a lot of energy and emotion into the art. And it sits and your opinion changes of it. Which is, it's, it's curious. Because perceptions on all our parts about whatever we're looking at, whatever art we consume, whatever we consume in life is... Just whatever you are at the moment in your head, there's so much else going around. And sometimes you leave stuff behind, and you uncover new stuff. You're just like moving through this sea of stuff. And so what's popular and what's good is highly relative to where you are in the sea of stuff and what you're, you're interested in consuming at the moment. Anyway, life's wacky. So I redid it. The point is, is that if you've you, you got to get past that idea that whatever you've done is great, because if you, I just, you know, if you have like, like there's, if for me, there's always this little thing like, eh, like some little thing, and I usually don't pay attention to it because I'm tired because I just spent a lot of energy working on whatever it is. <laughs> so I don't. But later on, after you get over it, you know the time and energy you invested, you invested in, into the thing, then you can look at it and go, oh yeah. Maybe you still don't know what to do to make it different and or better. It's not always just better. Sometimes it's just different. In, in, in that sense, it's better. And most of the time, it's better. I learned that when, I've been, when I worked on um, commercial jobs. What I would do is I would come up with the best solution that I could possibly come up with for the client based on whatever parameters I had at hand. When you're young, you hate this. And then the client says, well, do this and do that. And when you're young, you hate it. Because it's like, I've been... I know what's best for you and, and what's cool. I know what's cool. Usually it's always based on what's the leading edge trendy thing, you know, that you've studied and, you know, you pay attention to because it's your job, right? But the client says something inevitably. I've always found that the client's right. They may not have they may not have any idea. And maybe what they actually have said they want is not really the best thing. But what you do as a result of the request for change is usually better for the client than the original idea. Okay, so I guess my whole point of this video is you, sh you should. It's 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 easy to resist change because the investment you've made in your life as a person. Boy, this is just getting way too damn deep for a, <laughs> a redo painting. Uh, but that leads me to some of the other things I think about, which are um, why people get angry when another person challenges them and their beliefs. Well, it's because you spent so much, and why divorces are so messy, for instance, because you have to make, you, you, you can't have your belief system challenged because you'll, you'll, you're, as a person, you'll, you'll, you'll break down. You'll just break down as a person because you can't stand the idea that you have invested all this time and energy and that you were not wrong, basically, but not but not right. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you, so that's why people get angry when they're challenged and their belief system starts to break down. They have to get angry to shore up the found their crumbling foundation of of who they are. But if you know, if you let that foundation crumble, 
and start to rebuild it, you know, you'll build something new and something better, and you'll be much happier. I just don't, I just, resistance is futile. <laughs> What did I say? I don't know. I'll have to go watch the video. Well, I cut it all up? I have no idea. What's today's first redo? It's the, <laughs> I started out with. It's the God, it's the Santa Claus versus the Martians. Santa Claus versus, remember Pia Zadora? She made that movie when she was a kid. Uh, but I had to bring Godzilla in one more time. Why? Because Godzilla was already in the painting. <laughs> I did put him in there. Ripping Reporter Dick's head off, Reporter Dick, so it's Reporter Dick and Santa Claus versus Godzilla and, and evil horrible Martians and their killing killer robot. All Santa Claus has as as a means to defend the the world against Godzilla and the Martians is the magical little dagger. I don't even know what it does. He's not very happy because he's just a he's got all these things to take care of and now he's having to fight this giant gamma ray breathing lizard with this little white magical dagger that he's not exactly sure what the powers of the dagger are. And that's the end of the first redo. <sighs> Put it up on the screen. <laughs> oh boy.